I'm currently on a weight loss journey with the help of Wagovi and as a result my diet has changed a lot. My weight loss so far has been 8 kilos. Today we'll discover what I eat in a day whilst on semaglutide, what has changed since I've been on the medication and how am I eating differently. oat milk out of my coffee and have an americano and it'd probably be way better for me but i literally don't care because there's some things in life that you need and for me this is one of them you'd have to pay me a lot of money to get rid of my oat latte in the morning i'm willing to accept offers though come at me Hit me up. Whilst my breakfast may not have changed substantially to previously, one of the biggest things I've noticed is how quickly I eat. Here you can see I put my cutlery down in between each mouthful, whereas before I would have just been shoveling it in continuously. However, one thing I'd like to become better at is mindful eating, and as you can see here, I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> Do you want to go? Oh, bye. No cats for me. No pussy for me. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just a glorified tripod. Yeah. yeah. Why <coughs> do I need a shot of this? I'm just trying this. Do you want to try it? Humorous. It's really strong. Yeah, that's pretty strong. <laughs> That was fun, wasn't it? Sorry to interrupt, but Mr. Doggo says if you don't like and subscribe now, then you'll never be as cool as him. Yes. Because we don't have a toaster. I'm really loving rye bread at the moment. There's something wrong with me, I think. Now, you may be wondering if I partake in this misadventure called calorie counting. And the answer is a big fat solid no, and for very good reason. Number one, ain't nobody got time for that. Number two, I eat to hunger rather than a number. And number three, personally for me, I don't think it's helpful because of one simple thing, obsession. These literally have to be eaten today because they're reduced. Will I be eating the whole punnet? Yeah. Whoever needed to ask that question. Here comes the diarrhea. This is what I do in my spare time. Doesn't just magically happen on its own, people. I'm at a bit of a loss as to what to eat now because, oh, nearly 10. I also feel like I've eaten a lot of sweet stuff today. I don't usually analyze it this much, but obviously because I'm recording it. half of this yesterday. I can tell you it's the worst thing I've ever eaten. I don't know what it is. I know I just said it's the worst thing I've ever eaten and now I continue to eat it, but I'm trying to figure out why I don't like it. I actually can't put my finger on it. I feel like I'm questioning this much whether I like it or not. The answer is I probably don't. Nuts. Well, they're okay, aren't they? I think we just have to have like compromise, you know, eat healthily and, and not restrict yourself and just restrict things that you like. If I like protein chocolate pudding and it makes me happy and I'm still losing weight whilst eating it, then fine. Obviously, you know, you don't want to check that it's got loads of sugar in it. Our planet 
I'm coming back to you. I think what's interesting to see here is there are three big things that have changed for me. Number one, speed of eating. Number two, portions. And finally, my number of meals in a day. And just because it works for me doesn't mean it works for you. You might eat more or you might eat less than me. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.